guys thanks for clicking on my video welcome back to me i know i've been gone for several weeks i haven't been posting any videos i'm so sorry guys did anybody even notice not that you missed anything not much has really been going on with my plants anyway except for the fact that i got rid of uh, quite a few of them which i'll talk about later on in the video my little fur baby also had some health issues um recently that have cleared up i'm hoping and so i was really worried about him and i was just not in the mood to film anything or make any videos and so i am back though and i have been kind of a decluttering maniac over the last uh several weeks so as you can see i had a whole bunch of plants in front of my fireplace which mr botana babies asked a few times hey how come we don't use our fireplace anymore well first of all it's like super disgusting and it really needs a deep clean which we haven't done over the last like 10 years or however long also, there's a whole bunch of plants in front of it, so it's kind of hard to use it even if we wanted to. Also, like I keep mentioning, I really am trying to downsize my plant collection. I just, I don't live in a super huge house, and so I just feel like our living area is super cluttered, and all my plants have just like invaded the whole space. I don't know how it has come to that. I think it's all the propagating I've been doing over the last couple of years, but it's getting out of control. And like I mentioned before, I do want to give some of my plants away, but at the moment I am not seeing anybody. I'm just like keeping myself at home and away from people. <laughs> So what you can see here that's missing is my philodendron, which I already told you I had to get rid of because it did get thrips and it was past the point of really saving. But the ivy that's right below that is what I've been monitoring, monitoring over the last couple of months and really inspecting each leaf on a daily basis for thrips. And they just continued to come back and it became really exhausting having to check up on it and trying to save it. And I just decided I need to just throw this whole plant away, even even the pot. I didn't want any remnants of any thrips or anything on there. I know I could have just like cleaned the inside, but it's not the ceramic part on the inside isn't glazed. And so I don't know how long th or organisms <laughs> can live on the inside. And so I just like I said, I just threw the whole plant away. I also had to get rid of, um, what do you call it, the oxalis? Not that there was anything wrong with it. During the winter time, it will go into a dormant stage. And so if yours looks a little bit sad during colder months, do not worry because it'll come back during the spring. Even if all of the leaves completely um, disappear and they all shrivel up and die, it'll come back in the spring. <laughs> Don't worry. But again, nothing was wrong with mine. I just felt like um, I didn't like all of the blossoms that grew every other day when the um, weather does get a little bit warmer. I just constantly had to clean up after and it was just a little bit exhausting. And so I'm getting rid of all of the plants that are annoying in that way or that I find annoying because I don't have the patience to constantly sweep up after it. I don't want my doggy to go eating up all the little plants because some flowers are poisonous to dogs. I'm not sure if oxalis in particular is toxic to animals, but I just don't want to take that chance. Like I said, I did get a handheld vacuum. <laughs> I don't know what took me so long to get on the handheld vacuum train, but I was tired of like bringing my huge vacuum up and down the stairs. So I finally caved and got one. It's like the best thing ever. I use it like three times a day, but anyway, moving on. I'm just keeping plants that are kind of low maintenance. Although I wouldn't be surprised if all of my pothos plants got bald at the base. That's generally what happens to them. They grow pretty long. Like the one I was showing you um, from a couple of videos ago, I think it got to about six feet in length. And then at the base, it got just super bald. And I know it's gonna grow back as soon as I cut it, but how do I maintain that length? I don't know. Am I the only one that has trouble keeping them super long and lush for long periods of time, like forever? Please let me know in the comments. Okay, so anyway, on the shelf thing, I'm only keeping pots that um, are not in use at the moment because a couple of years ago, I had a plant there at the very bottom and I did find an ant trail. And so I'm super paranoid about that. I have also recently discovered ants in the kitchen, which I'm shocked because it's getting cold. I mean, it's almost winter. It's going to be winter in a few days. And there's ants here. They're probably inside the house. They're, oh my God, I hate bugs. And so I have seemed to uh, be able to manage them using those tarot ant baits. So hopefully the colony isn't that huge. But anyway, that's why I never keep plants on the ground because I'm like, paranoid about ants getting to them because they do feed off of the sugars that are produced by the roots of certain plants. Okay, so anyway, you guys, what's up with the yellow spots on my pilea? These are the pups that I harvested from the mama plant that is really not doing well. I'll have to do a separate video on that, but I really don't know what's going on. If you guys know, uh, 
please help me. So um, yeah, I'm just showing you what plants I'm, I'm kind of keeping here. I don't have high hopes for the pilea because I already had to throw one away. Uh, their leaves are just getting to be, they're just like yellowing a lot faster than what I would expect considering how young this cutting is. And so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, it seems like, am I watering it too infrequently? Am I watering it too frequently? I don't know. But anyway, I really like the space that I have now. Um, in front of the fireplace. If you make it to the end of the video, here's a little spoiler alert. I actually just end up cluttering up another fireplace that we have downstairs. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I'm pretty happy with how the plants are configured as, as they are now. I'm hoping I don't have to make any other changes um, in the future because I really like how this looks at the moment. But anyway, remember how I told you that there seems to be something that takes over the plants that I put in this area? So for a while now, I've noticed some discoloration in the leaves of this cornstalk dracaena. And I did notice that it has the same thrips that the other plants that I had, like the ivy and the um, philodendron, the uh, lime philodendron. It has the same thrips that they had. But again, the leaves of this plant is a lot different. Um, I'm hoping that it can survive whatever it is that it's going through. I'm probably going to end up having to baby this the way that I babied the ivy over the last few months. But I don't mind doing that to this plant because I've had it for a really long time. I want to say maybe 12 years I've had this plant. And so I don't want anything to happen to this. And I'm going to um, see to it that I clean the leaves every day just with a warm um, paper towel or a, a, a wet paper, paper towel to just kind of rinse off whatever dust residue is on there. But anyway, I wanna show you this area as well. I also managed to tidy it up a bit. I got rid of a tray, which I'll show you here, that um, had some plants on it. I, I kept the yellow plant stand here just because I think that the color yellow is pretty. <laughs> And it's a lot smaller than the other tray that I've since repurposed as just something that I like, a, you know, a stand. I can probably put, even put a lamp on there if I wanted to. But um, I, this is my spot of the couch. <laughs> and so I use it to like set my drinks or cookies or whatever it is that I'm eating. I set it on there, um, which I've really been enjoying because there's not a whole lot. Like we only have one little tray that we keep on the ottoman in front of the couch. So it's nice to have something else that I can set my wine glasses on. <laughs> okay, so here are some of the plants that I moved from upstairs to downstairs. I don't know if this is really enough light for them to thrive, but I don't really care if I keep those plants or not because they're on their last leg anyway. Um, those are some of the plants that got infected with thrips. And so this is where I'm gonna test them out and see how uh, they can withstand really low light. But anyway, here's my little home gym that I have at home. Um, so this is the basement part of our house. I've always kind of used this area as a home gym. This is where I like to work out. I hate going to the gym because people are disgusting. They never wipe down any of the gym equipment. Um, I used to work at a place that had a gym in the building, which I liked using. Um, I liked going there to use the treadmill, but I've actually um, have a lot of knee pain. <laughs> oh, and here's my yarn too. <laughs> Yes, I'm 900 years old. Here I am talking about my knee pain and my um, knitting addiction. But anyway, yeah, these are some of the things that I've acquired um, throughout time. I'm really thankful that I have um, a lot of workout stuff at home because the prices for home uh, workout equipment have skyrocketed. You used to be able to get some dumbbells at about a dollar a pound, but now they're like two to three times uh, what they used to go for. And so if they're even available, there's not even any available, even if I wanted to pay that ex exorbitant price. Exorbitant? Exorbitant. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, okay, what else have I been up to over the last week and a half that I've been radio silent? Well, I've been propagating some more. No, actually. So my mother of, or string of pearl plant desperately needed a haircut because it was just getting too long. It was getting in the way. It was like blocking the sunlight to my other plants. So I wanted to cut it, but I didn't want to waste the plants. So I just decided to propagate it and we'll see how that goes. Okay, guys, my, um, what do you call it? My uh, avocado that I was able to germinate from the seed. I think I'm going to make a whole video on this because I'm really happy at how it turned out. However, I think something's up with it. So see these browning leaves? Actually, several of the leaves at the bottom are becoming, are turning brown and then falling off. So this is one that's probably getting ready to um, fall off. I'm suspecting that this has thrips. 
probably can't see it um, yet, but like look how many of them have fallen off. And so I'm just trying to keep a close eye on that. I'm hoping that it can survive and get over whatever it's got going on. Maybe the same as what my corn stock dracaena has. I don't know. But anyway, guys, if you can't tell, I really haven't been up too much. Actually, I've been doing a lot of baking um, and cooking, and I actually considered doing vlogmas. <laughs> Um, which, as you know, uh, would be require filming what I do in a day, which isn't a whole lot. And so I was like, you know, they probably don't want to see. Most of it involves food. So let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll consider it next year. I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, that's all I've been doing over the last couple of weeks. I'm really happy my um, doggy is doing a lot better than what he was. I was super concerned and worried about him, but he seems to be getting better. Anyway, I hope you guys are staying safe and staying home. I haven't celebrated anything at all this year. I'm just not in the mood, you guys. Like, I totally skipped over my birthday, um, didn't do anything, didn't want to do anything. Um, actually, no, I ate an entire box of Fran's car salted caramels. If you guys haven't tried that, it's really delicious. And I cannot... I just couldn't stop myself. I ate the entire box. I know it's disgusting and I'm not used to all that sugar. So uh, you can imagine the gas that I was producing. Probably TMI, I know. But anyway, guys, I'm just letting you know what I've been up to. Um, I'm not sure what to make for my next video. If you guys have any suggestions, I am so open to them. Until next time, goodbye.